So what is breast cancer? Breast cancer is caused when the number of cells produced is too great for the immune system to eliminate, which causes a buildup. These changes in cell proliferation can either lead to a clump of non-cancerous benign cells or a cancerous tumor that can form and grow causing destruction of nearby tissue. Treatment of breast cancer involves surgery and that can be a mastectomy where all the breast tissue is removed or a breast conserving surgery where just the tumor is removed with a small margin around it. Regardless of which surgery, the patient might be offered radiation afterwards. Radiation can be used as a part of many different types of cancer. One common example that we might talk about is breast cancer. Treatment of breast cancer involves surgery, and that might be a mastectomy where all of the breast tissue is removed, or what we call breast conserving surgery, where just the tumor is removed with a margin around it. Regardless of which surgery a patient has, they might be offered radiation afterwards. When patients who have breast cancer have radiation, they would come to the cancer center for a consultation with the radiation oncologist. They would have a history and physical, and then they would be brought for a planning scan. We do a simulation scan using a CT scanner, a special dedicated CT scanner in our department. And at that time, we position the patient thinking about how we want the radiation beams to be moving around the body and making sure the patient is comfortable and it's a reproducible position. Typically, patients with breast cancer will be treated with their arm over their head, and quite often the treatment fields will involve treatment coming from across the body this way and this way so that they can target the breast tissue that is remaining there. Once the patient has had their simulation scan, we will import those images and they will be reviewed by the radiation oncologist as well as a radiation planner. And we will work together to develop a plan that ensures that we get the appropriate amount of radiation dose to the tissues while protecting the normal tissues. Then that plan goes to a medical physicist who also reviews the plan. And lastly, it will go to the actual machine that the patient is going to be treated on to ensure that it can be delivered safely before the patient even comes for their first treatment. This whole process occurs over typically seven to 14 days, and then the patient would come back and they would start their treatment. Skin reactions to radiation. While undergoing treatment, the first thing you'll notice is that your skin tone will become darker and can become harder. The skin can also become sore and dry. Some areas of your skin may react more than others. For example, the skin in the upper inner corner of your breast and the skin within your underarm can get more red. Your skin reaction may be mild and limited just to these areas, or your skin might have a more dramatic reaction to radiation, covering more of the breast area. This is more likely to occur if your complexion is fair and you're susceptible to sunburn, you have larger breasts, you are receiving radiation after mastectomy, or you've had recent chemotherapy. After you finish radiation therapy, the effects on your skin may continue to get worse for another week or so, and then your skin will start to get better. Here are a few things you can do to make the skin less sensitive during radiation treatment. Wear loose-fitting shirts, use warm instead of hot water when showering, try not to let the shower water fall directly on your breasts, avoid harsh soaps that have a lot of fragrance, and try to keep your arm away from your body whenever possible. Thank you for watching, and to learn more about breast cancer, head over to breastcancer.org. And to learn more about radiation therapy, watch our Demystifying Radiation Oncology video.